Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Swati and you're watching Backyard Gardening. Today we'll talk about a gorgeous flowering plant you can see right here. This is a climber variety and these are the beautiful hanging flowers. This is Thunbergia coquinia, also known as Indian cloak vine. It has various other names such as brick and butter vine, scarlet cloak vine, dot shoe because of the shape of the flowers. This plant is also called as Sahara Bale because of the flowers which bloom hanging down. Looks like Sahara. It's an evergreen perennial flowering plant and if we talk about its flowering season, it blooms throughout the uh, monsoon, winters and the spring. As I said earlier, it's a climber variety. So you need to give support to the plant. Try to grow it somewhere where it can hang like this, like pergolas or some fence like this. It looks amazing when it blooms. It's a low maintenance plant and if we talk about its sunlight or water requirements, it needs regular watering like any other plant. You can water it alternate days or every day based on the weather conditions in your area. And if we talk about its sunlight requirements, it blooms in full sunlight as well as in partial uh, shade. So you can grow it in your balconies, terrace, covered terrace or in garden or somewhere in the pergolas in the garden. It blooms in orange color and uh, red color as well but the color of the flower depends on the climate or the temperature of your area. If the temperature is on warmer side the flowers will bloom in orange color however if the weather is cold in your area they will bloom in red color. There is one more variety in this plant which is Thunbergia mysorensis and the flowers bloom in uh, yellow bright yellow and red color that looks beautiful but that's a different plant people usually get confused with this plant because the flowers pattern are same they also uh, bloom the similar way they hang down like this but that's a different variety now if we talk about how to grow them how to propagate them you can easily propagate this plant by stem cutting take the tender cutting the green stem with at least two to three nodes these are the nodes as you can see a new shoot is growing from here so these are the nodes make sure you take at least two to three nodes in a cutting with at least six to eight inches long cutting and you can propagate them in water roots will develop and later you can transfer them to the soil they're very easy to grow, low maintenance plant. All you need to do is regular watering. And when the flowering season is over, own it nicely. And by the next season, they'll start producing lots of new branches with so many flowers. So that's all for this gorgeous flowering plant. Its season is there. You may get this plant in big nurseries. Get a plant, grow in your garden or in balcony. If you don't find this plant in nearby nurseries, I'll share a few links. In the description box, you can buy it online. That's all for today guys. I'll see you soon with one more interesting video. Bye-bye.